Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing some more terra firma today. I just spent the night making uh, some torches and our campfire in here. Also made some more cooked chicken. Let me try to turn that music down real quick. See if that helps. Now it looks like the sun's coming up right now, and I think today we're going to need to take inventory, see what we really need to get going. Uh, if you remember, we did get some hickory while we were out gra gathering trees. Uh, I want to go back out there and see if we can't get a hickory sapling real quick. And once we get that sapling, we'll be able to start uh, doing a little bit more, probably get into some caving, see if we can't go down and find some more resources. Looks like we got some vines in our entryway here. I like that. Nice little covert operation we got going on down here. Let's head out see if we can't get sniped by a skeleton. Alright. Let's grab our saplings and uh, start planting them around here. See if we can't get a grove of trees growing here. I don't know the exact distance that these trees need to grow, so I'm just going to plant them around here and hope for the best. Get some of these other trees going. Now I did burn some of those sycamore tree logs and they did not burn very well. They were hovering around the halfway mark on the temperature gauge and well, they burned out pretty quick. Get some more flint. Maybe we can get a bow and arrow going here soon. Alright, I'm going to run back over there and I'll bring you guys back in once we get to the hickory trees. Okay, we're hanging out back over here with all the trees that we found, and it doesn't look like we have any uh, hickory trees nearby. Well, that might be one right there. Let's gather up these leaves, see if we can't get lucky and find a sapling. No such luck. Darn. Maybe this one. This one might be better luck. Come on, give me a sapling. All right, got a couple of hickory saplings already. That was much better luck. Now this is probably really boring for you guys, so I might uh, make this into a montage or just cut it out. Probably just cut it out. I really want to get into something a little more interesting today, rather than just collecting resources like we have been, and. Uh, as soon as I get this all squared away, I'll bring you guys back in when we get back to camp. Okay, I think that should do it for now. Got quite a bit of hickory going. We also got quite a few saplings that we can grow back at our base. Actually, I wouldn't call that a base. That's more like a little camp. So I'm going to run back there and we'll get started doing something else. Okay, back at the camp. Let's get these trees planted. Right like so. I'm hoping those will grow pretty soon. In fact, let's grow them right now. Yes. That's what I want to see. Gather these up, get some more saplings, some more sticks, and some more hickory. Nice. Okay. Get these saplings planted, and I think we'll be ready to move on. Oh, it looks like some of our trees are already growing. Excellent. Let's get these hickory planks put down into a few piles here. There we go. Put our other logs away. Not the dirt. Keep the dirt. That's alright. We'll make a new one. There we go. 
So we got quite a bit more sticks. I don't think we'll need all of those with where we're going. Put a stack in here for later. Maybe put it down there. That sounds good. Put the bone meal away. Put our raw chicken in here. Might actually want some more meat. And I hear some meat out here somewhere. Where were you? Hello. There we go. Maybe cook that up here real quick. Hey. Oh, I need some... Need some lumber. Give me one of those. I don't know how well Aspen burns. Let's find out. Put it in here. Light that. Start cooking our beef. Maybe even our chicken. How well is that burning? It doesn't burn too bad, but I think we could do a bit better. That should be good for cooking, though. Okay, got our food. And just in time for the sun to be going down. I think right now would be a pretty good time for some caving. How about you guys? Let's just pop right in here and see what we can't find. Get some light on the subject. Let's see in here. Now in this mod it is much rarer to find minerals. So we might have to go pretty deep into a cave to find anything of use. Is there anything back here? No. This looks like a pretty shallow cave. Huh. Yeah, this cave doesn't look like it's going anywhere, does it? Might have to find a better one. Alright, well that was that was a bust. Oh well. We can try for another cave in the morning. I'll bring you guys back in once it's daytime. I don't want you being bored while we're just sitting around waiting for night to be over. Alright, check it out guys. Found a little bit of a cave right behind our little workshop here. That's going to be nice. We won't even have to wait for morning. Alright, let's get our thing squared away and dive right into it. Got some cobble and some dirt on us. That should be good for some building material. Oh my gosh! Oh man. Go away. Go away. Scaring the poop out of me. Okay. Let's see. That didn't go very deep. Oh man. Don't tell me this cave is another bust. Let's check this way. Got some jungle vines going on. Aw oh, man, dead end. Darn. Might have to go digging some more. But in the meantime, let's come up here and I'll show you guys a new tool that we can make. Put some sticks in right like that. Some across the top, normal pickaxe. And add one right there and we get a stone prospector's pick. And what this thing does is we can use it to probe the walls for any valuable resources. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nothing. Maybe down here somewhere. Nothing. Maybe a little bit further? Nothing. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Might have to dig a little bit deeper. So I'll be right back. I hear some slimes around here somewhere. Ooh, I hit some new kind of rock. What kind of rock is this? Siltstone. Huh, that's interesting. 
Darn, pickaxe broke. Time to head back and make a new one. Hmm, maybe there's something along the walls here. Ooh, cinnabar. I don't know if that's useful or not. Nothing. Nothing. Traces of saltpeter. That doesn't sound very useful. Medium sample of sphalerite. Now that is useful. So we will want to find out where that sphalerite is. Our little miner's pick does not tell us exactly where to find the resources that it found for us. But it seems that this might be the most promising direction. Let's head this way. Try it again. Hmm, more saltpeter. Large sample of sphalerite. Okay. These prospectors picks are very difficult to to home in on where the resources are. It scans a very large area and that makes it difficult to figure out exactly where you need to be digging. Still hear those slimes though. Native copper, huh? Okay. Might want to go this direction. Okay, so it's still around here. New type of rock. What is this? Nice. Or nice. Or whatever. It's the G cobblestone. Okay, now the wider you dig out an area, the more chance you have of causing a cave in. So I'm going to be sticking to these very narrow tunnels for now until we can find a way to protect ourselves from that. I really want to find this sphalerite. I've never been too successful with the prospector's pick. I'm hoping to change that here soon. Nothing of interest. Medium sample. Nothing of interest. That's not good. Hmm. So found it in this direction, but nothing in this direction. And it seems we've now downgraded to a medium pocket instead of a large pocket. So maybe we want to go upwards? What was that? A gate. More gems. Let's try up here. Nothing. Large sample of sphalerite. Try to keep it lit up for you guys, but if it's hard to see, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to keep it lit up. Keep probing. Large sample in this direction. Nothing, nothing. Medium in this direction. Okay. Large in this direction. Glad I grabbed a few backup stone pickaxes. These do not last as long as they normally do in this mod. Let's keep keep going in this direction, I think. Medium sample. Okay, so it looks like we'll want to be going in this direction now. Somewhere thereabouts. Nothing. Medium. Okay. The pick has spoken. We go in this direction. Uh-oh. Nothing at all? 
cinnabar. Small sample of sphalerite. Huh. Traces of sphalerite. I think this thing is trolling me. This is not looking good, guys. We can't find anything. How are we doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What the heck? And our pickaxe just broke. Darn. We might have better luck with the cave, actually. But we need to find a cave in the first place. So I'm going to head back out and see what we can't find elsewhere. Hey guys, we are back right now. A uh, few things have changed. Let me let the world generate for a second. Okay, a few things have changed. I had to update the mod. Apparently there was a bug and a certain type of ore never generated. So I went and grabbed the update for the mod, but in order to get that ore to generate in our world, I had to recreate the world. So, set everything back up. Uh, got our little workshop set back up. And you can see the stone in here is a different type. Uh, that's a little upsetting, but we'll work with it. Uh, I didn't recreate everything we had done so far. I didn't go chop down all the trees we had chopped down. Things like that. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of zombies. Let me turn down the sounds real quick. Maybe the music too. There we go. That should be better. I didn't dig out our little mine again. Uh, I did quite a bit of digging around down there. It would have been difficult to recreate. But I got my inventory back. Uh, while digging around I did find a, cape, uh, a couple more gems. Looks like those are going to be filling up our inventory until they find a use. But I think, after a little bit of uh, pondering, I really do think we might have jumped the gun trying to find the ore right now. But right now I think our best bet would be to start setting up a farm, uh, concern ourselves more with gathering wood more than anything right now. Uh, I'd like to go explore other areas, see what type of uh, rock formations we can find. If we can find some granite, uh, I think that's where the tin ore generates. I know we found that uh, sphalerite down in the cave. I'm not sure if it's there right now. We might want to try finding it again if we can't find a better place. I'm going to take a poke around and see if we can't find a better place to set up shop. What type of rock is this? This looks this looks like it might be granite. Let's find out. Is it? Mudstone. No, that's not granite. In fact, that's not important to us at all. So let's look around here. Two different types of grass. Hmm. Now you'll notice uh, the dirt changes color in different areas. What that what that is is it's reflecting the type of stone that's underneath of it. So if we can dig down here, you can see the stone is a similar type of color to the dirt above it. What kind of uh, stone is this? Well, it's nothing new, so it's not something we're interested in. Looks like we have a little little desert over here. Well, a big desert over here. We got some reeds, too. I don't know what kind of stone is underneath of the desert. Might be worth checking out. I'm gonna dig down real quick, see what we can find. What is that? Conglomerate. Okay. 
put our whetstone back. Now in each biome, there are, I think, uh, three to four, maybe five layers of different rock. So there might be granite deep underneath the ground here, and that would be ideal. Uh, might be worth setting up a mine somewhere, just randomly. Uh, poke down underground, see what kind of uh, rock we can find. Maybe we get lucky and find a, uh, a granite layer under the ground here. Doesn't look like we have uh, many foresty biomes around here. Now we're we're pretty much set for wood as far as making charcoal goes, but I would like to find other types of wood for building purposes. Now this is really dark dirt right here. What kind of what kind of rock is this? That's well, pretty deep rock too. Let's see here. Shale. Huh. I wonder what kind of resources spawn in shale. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad uh, building material. Looks like this entire place is made up of it. All right, let's head back to the cave and maybe start up a mine nearby. See if we can find a nearby biome with some granite deep underground. And another thing I noticed when I came back to this world is the little cave that we had gone into, I went to put torches in there, but it became a lake. That's kind of strange. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It wasn't a very promising cave to begin with. But we're back at the cave right now. I think we might want to set up a farm near the river that we found over here. There's another part of the mod that we might be able to get into right now, and that is panning for resources. So we have a little river right here. I wasn't able to get panning working before. They said you needed a river, but I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to collect up some seeds, and we're going to get a farm going nearby here. One of the things we might want is a bed. So, let's kill these sheep and get ourselves a bed going. I think we already have a wool in the chest, so that should be enough. All right, yep, there it is. Grab our planks. Get another piece of that uh, kapok wood. Split it down into planks. There we go. Now we won't have to wait through the night anymore. We can just go to sleep. All right. Put some of my stuff away. We really need a lot more storage for all this different type of stone and dirt that we have going on. Where are we going to put our bed? Maybe clear out a spot in here? Where would that go? That sounds good. Let's put it right there. Nice. Oh, we don't have a hoe. Alright, let's make a hoe. There we go. Now we can get our little farm going over here. I want to get the farm going so that we have a means of uh, renewable food as well as a way to breed animals. The only type of armor accessible in the mod right now is leather armor, so we'll want to be breeding some cows That'll set us for food as well as set us for any armor we'll want. 
Okay, we don't need a very big farm right now. Let's do it right here. That sounds good. Get our seeds out. Plant that. And now we can go to bed real quick since it's getting dark. Maybe put down some torches around here. Ooh, getting low on torches. Torches are uh, time consuming to make. But at least it doesn't take coal, so we don't have to worry about that. Hop into our bed. Get some daylight going. Now what do we want to get going? We need some wood. Grab some of our easily usable K-Pak. Split that. And now we need to make a bowl. A few bowls. One bowl will work. Okay. Let's see if we can get this panning for resources to work for us. If I'm not mistaken, this is a river, so hopefully it'll work. Did I do it wrong? Is this not the type of bowl I need? I think I did it wrong, guys. Oh well, if we find some mushrooms, we can make some soup. <laughs> I'm going to go look up what kind of bowl we need. I think it might be a clay or a stone bowl. Either way, I'll be right back while I look that up. Alrighty, I just looked it up and it looks like we were on the right track. We just needed to craft our regular bowl into a gold pan empty bowl. So now let's head back out here and see if we can get it to work. I'm really hoping that we can get some resources out of this. Uh, it's supposed to be a long, painstaking process, but uh, our luck with resources hasn't been too good. Oh, there we go. Gold pan. Dirt. Now, in order to sift through this, we need some running water. So let's just pop those out of there. I think, yeah, you're, you're supposed to just click, click into the water here. I had it working. I saw my my bowl move. Oh, what's this? Chipped amethyst and some flawed jasper. Huh, that's interesting. So it looks like it is working. I'll be right back, guys, and I'll bring you in if uh, I find anything noteworthy. Okay, I think that's enough for right now. Uh, where's the sun at? Uh, I spent almost the entire day doing that. Oh, my finger is tired of right-clicking in there right now. I did have to use some of my dirt. Uh, apparently, there's a chance that when you pick up dirt, uh, the dirt block disappears. So I had to keep refilling it to keep going. But we picked up quite a bit of gems here, including a diamond. This isn't the normal Minecraft diamonds. You can't use this to make diamond tools or diamond armor or anything like that. Uh, it's just a gem like these other ones are. But I did find five gold nuggets. That's nice. Uh, can't really use them for anything right now, but maybe in the future we can get enough to make some gold tools or maybe some pretty butter armor. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm just going to come back here. We're going to make a chest to put all of our valuables that we sift out of the ground in. So I'm going to need some more inventory space. Oh boy. We really need to get a bigger inventory going here. Put that in here. Maybe get rid of some of the cobblestone I have on me. Oh man. So much inventory. Where's all of my... there it is. Okay, I think that should be enough. Go ahead and split that down using our axe. All of that, please. Okay. That should be enough for a double chest. Put this in here, and then we can make a chest by our gold panning area. There's another thing I wanted to show you guys about the panning for gold. There's a way to slightly automate it. 
Uh, not fully automated, but we can get it going without too much interaction on our part. I'm going to just put this down right right here. That sounds good. Start putting all of our gems that we found in here. Maybe our gold nuggets and some dirt. Because we need dirt for uh, sifting. Alright, that looks good. I need to make uh, some more chest just for the cobblestone we've been pulling out of the ground. Alright, I'm going to go sleep tonight and I'll be back with you guys. Alright guys, we're back in the cave right now. I'm going to show you that automated thing that I was telling you about. It's called a sluice. Or actually a sluice box. And you craft it like this. Uh, it doesn't look like he has a final icon for the sluice yet. That's not what it looks like. So let's head back out here and I'll show you how to set it up. Now remember the running water we had out here? We're going to be using that. So let's expand this all the way out until it can't run anymore. Actually, maybe even go this way. Okay, so now we're at the end of the line here. Give me that dirt. Make a little bit more room for us to work in. Alright. Now what we need is we need two blocks space for the sluice. It's going to go right there. Then we need an empty block over here. And this is where extra water is going to be. Let's hop out of there. Grab our sluice. If I can get my mouse wheel to work. There we go. Place it down. Okay, that didn't look like how I thought it would. Let's see if I can get that back. Give me that back. Give me my axe. There we go. Okay. Got the sluice. Maybe I have to put it down from this angle? That's not the sluice. There it is. There we go. You can see the water started going through the sluice and down into the empty block down there. That's what we want to see. We can open it up and it has its own interface. You can see there's zero out of 50 soil in here. And that soil is what the sluice is going to be sifting through for valuables. And when it finds something, it's going to put it into the grid over here. To give it soil, we just grab our gold pan, pick up some soil, put it in. Pick up some soil, put it in. Okay, didn't mean to get rid of the dirt right there. Put that back. Okay, so let's fill this up. Ooh, ooh, put that back. You can see the dirt disappearing in action right there. Okay, how much do we have? Okay, it looks like it's full right now. So you can see it's sifting through each piece of the soil. And I want to find something, it's going to put it over here. So we can check back later and see if it found anything. Uh, we might want to expand this to be hmm, maybe a few more sluice boxes. But for right now, that should work. We just need to come back every now and then fill it back up. Hey, quit running out of dirt. Okay. Alright, we're going to let that go and maybe poke around here. Start on that mine I was talking about. Alrighty guys, it looks like it's hitting the half hour mark. A little bit over actually. So we're going to call it good here for, day, for today. We'll get back to that mine in the next episode. So I'll see you guys later.